Hey guys, Ginger Braface here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to improve the frame rate slash smoothness of your games, specifically Minecraft, but this most of this information will help with other games if you are having issues with frame rate and or uh, smoothness. And I will show you what I mean in a minute. So you're going to go to control panel like I've just done and type in this display, bit of a bug with Windows 8, wish they'd freaking fix it. Uh, you go to advanced set it how what one did I click on? Yeah, change display settings, go advanced settings, and then go over to monitor. And here you'll have probably 60 or 50 as your options. Some will have these higher ones like I do. Um, but we're going to go with 60 or well, don't go with the highest one, go with 60 or 50. 60 is probably best. Most programs support 50. Uh, sorry, most programs support 60. Um, a lot, a lot support higher and lower refresh rates as well. But um, but 60 is probably going to get you the best performance. And I will explain what that is. I'm going to start up Minecraft quickly. All it is, um, all the refresh rate is is the is how many times per second your screen updates or refreshes. So having a higher one theoretically would be better, but isn't necessarily. And I will show you how it affects it in a minute. Um, now, Minecraft specifically, you do not need that much RAM to um, to run it. So this tag I've got here, xmx386-xms386m. What this does is this, when it starts up Java, it says Minecraft only wants 386 megabytes of RAM. So this will improve the performance slightly, maybe. It might not have any difference on your performance at all. However, by if even if it doesn't have any difference, it is using less RAM than it was before, which means that you have already made the game less resource hungry just by changing that. If now I'm running DDR2 RAM, so you do not need fast RAM by any means to do to do this in the way I'm doing it. You know, you'll get you'll get quite a fine frame rate, probably just fine. So I've started up Minecraft here. I'm on the server. Now my frame rate will go up in a second when the when the world's done loading. 41, 43, do do do, jump about. 45, 57, 60. Okay, there. And it's leveled out at 60. And the reason is I have it limited 60. Just to, in case you're interested in that top corner there, I'm only using, well, I'm using less than 100 mega RAM. So, yeah, really don't need that much. Now, I'm going to assume you know what fancy, the difference between fast and fancy graphics is. And I'm going to assume you know roughly what render distance you want. If you do not know these things, Google them because there is, I would really not be telling you anything new by explaining it. You can find that information out elsewhere quite easily. Max frame rate. Now, big block capitals here. Keep it at 60. You don't need higher than 60. The reason is, we've just set our monitor's refresh rate at 60. And it's just occurred to me, vertical sinks off. It should be turned on. And advanced OpenGL should be turned off. How odd. Hmm. Sort yourself out, frame rate. Hmm, that's very bizarre. Just changed all my settings. Uh, yeah, frame rate should sort itself out in a minute, but... Vertical sync. Actually, no, we were talking about frame rate, weren't we? Get on the vertical... Actually, they're both related. Vertical sync. What this does is this means that it synchronizes your GPU's frame rate with your monitor's frame rate, so you get the best value for your frames, as it were. This can reduce your frame rate initially, but it will look smoother. Okay, that's what VSync does. I might have got that slightly wrong, but that's that's the gist of it. It'll, it'll benefit you ultimately, most probably, having it on. Limit it to 60. You do not need it higher, because you're with VSync on, it's synchronizing with your monitor. You're not going to be able to see any difference past 60. Simple as. So keep it at 60. All you're doing is putting unnecessary stress on your hardware by making it higher, which is ultimately just going to blow up your computer later in a ball of fire. 
advanced OpenGL. Do you want this on or off? Depends completely on what kind of computer you have. If you have a single core or dual core, you might benefit more from having it on. If you have a, a quad core, um, octa core, or however many six, whatever the name for a six core processor is, you'll you probably won't benefit hugely from having it on. You might do. Um, if you have, well, let's go on to graphics. Um, ATI cards seem to struggle with this more. I've found from testing because both my desktop computer I'm using now and my laptop have um, ATI cards and they both suffer from having this on. Whereas um, at sick form, we use the computers there. They have Intel graphics in them and they benefited hugely from having it on. The frame rate doubled. So this depends entirely on your computer whether this will help or not but try it. NVIDIA cards haven't tested it on any of them. I think it would help. Not certain. So, hopefully this has kind of showed you how to get Minecraft at least running pretty well. See, I've got solid 60 FPS and this looks as smooth as could be to me. You know, this this looks really, really quite nice. You see, I'm really not using that much RAM. Um, Yes, does that make a difference? Not really. You see, so it's pretty it's pretty stable all round. Actually there's some fire out the back. Can we see the fire? Woohoo. Uh yeah, that's not really make a difference. So that'll make it run run smoother for the most part. Anything else I can show you? Oh, there's an interesting thing. Um turning your sound all the way down. Um I think still improves your frame rate. Turning your sound off improves your frame rate. Nobody knows why. Actually, someone probably does know why, but I don't know why. <laughs> anyway. I think, yeah, I've showed you how to do the RAM thing. Um, what is there anything more I can explain to you uh, that might help? Oh, yeah, clouds. If you don't want clouds on, turn them off. You'll get a better frame rate. I build, I don't like them on anyway. I find them annoying. So I have them off. Uh, bobbing really doesn't make much difference, I don't think. It doesn't make it much, if any, difference to me. Um, 3D Anagraph, unless you particularly want that turned on, I'd recommend leaving that turned on for the sake of your poor eyes. Um, anistropic filtering, I think it's pronounced. Now this is an interesting graphic setting as Every single time I've looked up what this is, I've found something slightly different. And I really don't exactly know. I know what anti-aliasing is, but astropic filtering, really not sure. But I've messed around with it, and difference that I can see is nil. So, again, depends on who you are. If you want it on, turn it on. If you don't, then don't turn it on. Simple as that. It's a bit dark in here. Should probably put some torches down. Anyway, hopefully this has been relatively informative to you. Is there anything else I can tell you um, in case you're interested or don't know what your hardware is? Type in DXDiag there, short for Direct X Diagnosis, and you will see all the details you may wish to know about your hardware. See, you can see here, I have um, I have four a uh, quad core processor, uh, three and a half gig of RAM, uh, DirectX 11, Windows 8 64 bit. All this information you might want to know. Uh, if you go onto display, you can see I've got an ATI Radeon HD 3800, specifically the 3870 times two. Uh, the one that has two GPUs on it, hence the reason it's so old and still handles things relatively well. Uh, two gig of, um, this isn't video memory, this is the GDDR uh, RAM that you get on your card for video memory. I think that's on system, isn't it? Uh, for video memory, I can't remember. Oh, but well, you can get it under that control panel thing I showed you earlier as well. 
So hopefully this has been relatively informative. I think I've explained pretty thoroughly how, how you can smoothen up, improve your frame rate. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. And don't forget to let me know. Oh, look, you can see like a OBS tunnel. Whee! Yes, don't forget to let me know if there's anything more you would like to see. Any more of these tutorials. Any other games you would like me to go into detail as to how to improve the frame rate. As I know many people ask me this. Many of my friends ask me this. And I like to think I have a reasonable understanding of graphic settings. Apart from the uh, apart from the anisotropic filtering. Which I think I'm going to go look up again now. Because I'm really, I really can't see any difference. But anyway. Yes, please like, subscribe, let me know, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.